we've been talking to many customers, and in most of the presentations and conversations we have with customers, it's very common that the number one issue they face, among all, and, and everything that we have in cyber, is related to password management. Either the length of the password, or the complexity, or the need for change. Sometimes they have to deal with multiple systems, like control system engineers that uh, manage multiple systems in different locations, and they have to happen to use multiple accounts. And for each one of them, they have to have a different password. So that becomes, you know, is a multiplier. Well, the, the major consequence of that is your passwords eventually will become weaker because you're trying to, you know, simplify your work of going through the happy path, which is just to use your system, but then you have the malicious activity that will take advantage of that issue and then compromise your applications. We know that when you have to deal with the systems, you have to keep up with those passwords. So understanding the pain, one of the options we provide uh, is to use two-factor authentication. So two-factor authentication really means you have one piece, one factor, that usually is, is a representation of a physical presence. So I want to know that you are you and you are present. So usually that's a card, a physical card, that has some electronics inside that will record not only uh, your electronic representation of you, but at, at the same time it requires you to have a PIN, a personal identification a number. The deployment of a two-factor authentication will require the systems, in this case the Delta V system, to be running on a domain environment. And the domain environment will have to have a co an additional component that's not normally implemented, uh, which is called the Certificate Authority, or CA. And, and that's the component that's going to be creating certificates on behalf of the user so that you don't have to use your user account name nor the password. So within the system, you have a trust established by managing digital certificates. You have the CA, which is the authority that's running electronically that check, and at the same time is all embedded with the Active Directory of your system. Up from cost perspective, dealing with user accounts and passwords seems to be easier. However, when you put two-factor authentication in place, you have the upfront cost of deploying the CA, deploying uh, appropriately the domain environment. However, the uh, long-term maintenance and extra protection you have in place actually are way much better. You can keep your cards and change the pins on a yearly basis instead of changing every 90 days, as an example. That simplifies a lot. And again, you're not changing a very complex password to another very complex password. You're probably changing four, you know, four numbers on a, on a sequence that you can easily memorize. And if you lose your card, or if you forget your card somewhere, you can always issue another one. But the fact that you don't have that, nobody else will have access to the system with your same account. So the benefits, they supersede uh, by far uh, the uh, ease of use of a user account and password. So we hear from you that sometimes you wanna combine uh, the, the access control badges you have on your site, the ones that open doors uh, in your control room area with the same you would use to log on on Delta V. And that is actually possible. So the same piece of hardware could carry multiple authorization levels or digital s signatures, not necessarily all using the same type of uh, interface. So if you have any issues or comments or questions about two-factor authentication or how to manage passwords in your system, please post your questions at the Emerson Exchange 365.